and welcome to Surprise Toy Box. I went to another flea market type sale at a city quite far away from me and it was quite small, a lot smaller than I expected, but I did pick up a couple things from one vendor. Um, this is Carcassonne board game. It's um, advertised as brand new for $5, but uh, you can see that the plastic wrap is like ripped and then there's a lot of um, wear on the box, like on all corners. But $5 is not too bad for this game. And then we have this Lego Aliens Conquest Lego set also unopened for $10. And it looks like this box fell off a truck and was run over through traffic. Look how ripped and dinged and squashed it is. Um, I asked if a lady would take 10 for both but she said no and we set out at 12 so um, this set doesn't uh, isn't worth too much like maybe 20 30 dollars um, but for what did I pay uh, so seven dollars it's not too bad um, I think I have some of these minifigures but yeah it's pretty old retired set um, and then afterwards I went to the thrift store and I was lucky enough to find a bunch of N64 stuff. So um, it was on a new cart that was already sitting out there. So I'm surprised no one grabbed them. Um, this is Mario Kart 64. There's some schmutz on it. I'm gonna wipe this off. And Super Smash Bros. These were surprisingly only priced for $4.99 each, which is crazy because like usually they do their research and then price like super high eBay prices. Um, this Atomic Purple. Uh, N64 controller was also $4.99. Um, you can hear some rattling inside, so um, I think something's broken or cracked. Uh, yeah, you can see that piece rattling around in there. Um, re really dusty. I couldn't pass it up for $4.99, so hopefully it works. I don't even have an N64, but for that price, you couldn't say no. Um, and then I've also picked up um, this card game called The Mind. I played it before with my coworkers. It's basically a really simple game where um, the cards are 1 to 100, it's shuffled and, and without talking you're supposed to work together to place down the cards from 1 up to increasing numbers up to 100. It sounds really dumb and stupid, um, but it's actually quite fun. So that's, this was $1.99, not bad. And then another couple trips, I found this Back to the Future handmade by Robots collectible vinyl figure. This looks like it's a Fan Expo exclusive and is a black light Marty McFly. Um, I've seen these in stores. It's like basically a plastic um, figurine that was made to look like it was knitted. I really like the um, Ursula one. But for $5, again, uh, I mean, I, I actually don't know what the retail of these are. Probably $20 or $30. But yeah, pretty cool. And lastly, uh, I went to the thrift again yesterday and picked up this Ninja Turtles Tower of Doom action race and rescue game. Um, the box is in pretty nice condition, but it is incomplete. Um, this was $3.99. Um, so this is the content so you have this like cardboard thing with like a plastic thingy with like the sewers um, two like pizza flipper things and then paper pizzas and then these swords um, so it's missing all the swords and it's missing I think I have the full yellow pizza but it's missing pieces with pizza but I thought I would grab this just because it's pretty old I think from 1990 um, and then I would probably try to sell this for parts but yeah for $3.99, I thought I'd give it a shot. But yeah, that is all the stuff I found in the last week. Um, until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!